So tell me about your piece. Well, the piece is basically, as you can tell, Jimi Hendrix. And again, what, what Congress has done is their collaboration has tied in his story through, through the shoes. And one thing I like doing is being creative is taking patterns from the shoe as texture. Oh. And then from that, I apply that onto the canvas to get those patterns. Oh. So basically, this is like almost like a prototype of how I will create those kind of textures. Okay. But it's all digitally done. But that is going to be the rendition of it. The texture right there. Basically. Wow. Now, when I heard that they're doing a Jimmy line of shoes, like I said, I was like blown away. I have to be involved. <laughs> have somehow. to be involved. And then show what my creativity I can produce from that. Yeah. Because I've been using the shoe textures from my sporting series that I've been doing. Oh, yeah? in the early 60s, it wasn't Nike. As you know, Nike was a lot of But okay. they used um, they used to wear Converse, the Chuck Taylors. Yeah. So with Bill Russell, Chamberlain. They're in Converse right now. Yeah, got to. They've been really taking care of me. So, <laughs> like I said, I've been using their, that, those patterns mm -hmm. into my paintings. Okay. So I, I got tied into with the Jimmy series as well. Wow. And how long did this piece take you? Um, roughly two weeks. Really? Yeah, um, probably so eight hours, not like four to five hours a day. And like, what does it consist of? Like in terms Just, of um, like paints and stuff? Dry brush. I don't really use, um, usually with the acrylic you can go a little bit wet on wet. I used to do everything a little more dry to get the texture to it. So it's mostly the, the um, acrylics, like I said. And how do you find yourself like involved with something as big as Converse, like to start doing that? Anything with business is building relationships. And Encourage uh, everybody. I'm trying to teach people to reach no, out No, it's, it's all about reaching and building relationships. And um, playing basketball, and I was coaching basketball in the summertime. We had a couple of sponsors with some of the kids. Oh, yeah? And um, my good friend uh, introduced me to Johnny. And I told Johnny what my ideas were as, as an artist. And we just yeah. collaborate together. So like I said, it's all about the That's amazing. So just speak how you're feeling, right? Basically, and if somebody likes what you're going with it, and they're inspired by what you're saying, they'll, let, they'll, they'll test it out. And my first shoe that we did, yeah. it was the Who, um, Pink Floyd, and Ozzy Osbourne. And I did a six feet, no, seven feet by four feet canvas piece. With the shoe, with all the with all the celebrities, and from that they were like, "Okay, Mark, we have to work with you again." Again, so, wow. I guess if the Jimmy Hendrix thing is it's, it's a perfect time because I'm inspired by Jimmy Hendrix. Yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, for for rock at that time, he's one of the greatest guitars. Yeah, well, like you know, at least music was genuine then. <laughs> exactly, but a lot of people don't know that. At a least lot of people don't know genuine. that. So my 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 journey is almost to tell those stories between the there is a gap between athletics and the music that a yeah. lot of people don't know. Those athletes at that time, I just want to bring that back into one of the most people understand them. That's awesome. And that's one way to art, and because we wear it. Yeah. So. All right. Okay. So say bye to the Hey Do You viewers. So long, Hey Do You viewers. Keep a nice positive message. Yes. Yeah, so well, keep your head up and just keep focused. That's all. Awesome. Thank you.